Hi friends, I am Pankaj Kumar. Welcome you all in another tutorial of analysis of beam. And you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. Before starting this tutorial, I would like to say that if you like this video, please like and share this video as much as you can and subscribe my channel for more videos. So let's start the analysis of this given beam. This is simply supported beam at point A and B and there is a point load at of 100 km at C and a moment of 60 km at D and 50 km meter at E. Uh, we have to find the stress and deflection and SFT and BND diagram whereas uh, breadth cross height uh, dimension is 200 mm cross 400 mm and Young's modulus as 2 E5 and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.27. So first of all open ANSYS mechanical APDL. Now go to preferences, click on a structural, click OK, go to preprocessor, click on element type, click on add edit delete, now click on add, select beam and 2 node 188 at save function, now click OK, close this, minimize element type, go to material property, click on material model, click on a structural, click on linear click on elastic click on isotropy and give it the value of Young's modulus as 2e5 and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.27 now click ok close this minimize material property go to sections click on beam click on common section now give the value of b as 200 mm and h as 400 mm if you want to see the cross section preview then you have to click on preview so this is the cross section of the beam now click ok and right click the mouse here and plot it to hide the section now in my section go to modeling click on create click on key point now click on inactive cs so if all boxes are empty and if you click apply it will automatically take the origin so i am considering a point as origin and with respect to a we are going to draw or locate c d e and b so first point is just 2 meter and the second is 4 meter and the next is 7 meter and 10 meter i am going to give the dimension in mm so i can click on active cfs give the value here as 2000 mm click apply now give 4000 mm click apply now give 7000 mm click apply and the last one is 10000 mm now click ok thus we have generated all the key point now we have to join all this key point with the help of line so go to minimize key point go to lines click on lines click on a straight line click here and here to join one two click at two and three to join two three click two and four to join two and three and four click four and five to join four five line now click ok now we have to mesh it so minimize modeling go to meshing first of all click on size control and then click on manual size and then click on global and then click on size now if you have to give the value of element edge length you can give here 10 20 and if the number of division then you will have to give up to 20 30 as much as, as much as you can i am going to give here as 20 divisions between two key points so the line between two key point will be divided into 20 equal part now click ok minimize size control go to mesh and again click on lines now tick box and carefully select all the lines and then click ok this meshing is done now minimize meshing go to plot and replot the line so you can clearly see that from origin to first point there is 20 divisions and the clearly one two three four five key points are viewing now we have to apply the loads so click on loads click on define load click on apply click on structural click on displacement now click on key point so first and last point are simply supported so i have selected first and last and click on apply and select ux ui uz rotational x rotational y not select rotational z since there is a possibility of rotation in z direction in case of beam now click apply now we have to apply 100 kilo newton force at C and uh, then we have to apply moment of 60 kN and 50 kN at uh, D and E moment so go to 
again here and now select this option and click apply and now so sorry go back and minimize displacement click on force moment now select on key point now select this node apply and select here fy and give the value of 4 that is minus 100 kilo that is 100,000 1 2 3 now click apply the next my message taken is for the downward direction now we have to apply the moment so again select this point click apply and select the mg8 and give the value of moment that is here the moment is 60 kN. so we have to give minus 60 e5 we have to apply the moment in newton per mm newton mm so click apply now again we have to select this point and click apply and give the and select here mz and here edge 50 kilonewton meter so i am going to give here as 50 kilonewton per meter that is 50 minus 50 e5 sorry e6 now click ok now we have to thus we have applied all the moment and force so now we have to go to solution so minimize structural minimize preprocessor go to solution click on solve click on current ls click ok the solution is done now close this and close this and in my solution now we have to see the result so go to general post procedure click on plot result click on deform shape and select deform plus and deform and now click ok so this is the deformation of beam under the given loading condition and moment and if any we have to draw also sft and vfd diagram so for that we have to go to element table and then click on define table now click add and go to this column and select last option and type here 3 and click apply again go to this column select last option type here 6 click apply again go to this column select last option and type here 16 and click apply again go to this column and select last option and type here 19 now click ok so combination of 3 and 16 will give BMD and 6 and 19 will give SFD diagram now close this again go to plot result now click on counter plot and click on line element result and select first option in first box and third option in second box and then click ok so this is the bmd diagram and now if you want to see the sft diagram then you will have to click here and uh, select second option and select last option correspondingly in first and second box now click ok so this is the sft diagram now minimize this again click on plot result click on deform shape and then click on deform policy deform so this is the deformation of beam under the loading condition of point load and moment now if you want to see this in 3d so you will have to go to plot control click on style click on shape and size now on it and click ok now go to isometric view and now again go to plot control and click on animation and click on deform shape and select deform plus and deform now click ok so this is the deformation of the beam under the given loading condition you can clearly see the animation of this deformation now close this uh, uh, now go to nodal solution click on duf click on displacement vector sum and click ok so this is the displacement diagram or displacement distribution diagram so you can clearly see maximum displacement is at this point and minimum displacement is at this point and the value of minimum displacement is here and the value of maximum displacement is here given now if you want to see the stress then again click on node solution click on stress bring down the arrow and select one minus stress now click ok so this is the stress distribution diagram you can clearly see maximum stress is acting at this point and me stress is acting at this point and the corresponding value are minimum value this and the maximum value is this now if you want to see the actual value of a stress displacement 
or reaction then you will have to go to list result then go to reaction solution select first all item and then click ok so this is the displacement of node 1 and 62 uh, reaction at node and node 62 corresponding node on 1 and 62 and the corresponding force that is fx x y fz and the corresponding moment at f x y and z values are given now close this if you want to see the nodal load then again click on nodal load now again select all item now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding force in x y z direction and moment in m y z x y z now click close it now if you want to see the displacement then you have to go to nodal solution click on df solution click on displacement vector sum now click ok so this is the node number and corresponding displacement in x y z and maximum displacement are given here now minimize this and if you want to see the vector plot then you have to click on the plot result then vector plot now click on predefined and click ok so this is the diagram of vector plot you can clearly see here similarly you can see the various result under oh. the general post procedure tree by selecting that particular parameter thank you for watching please like share and subscribe my channel Bye-bye.